I'm back and my memory is all cleared out. I've uploaded uh, the last part. So now let's get on with the rest of the haulage of it all. If y'all don't know what the heck I'm talking about because y'all just happened to click on this one, my memory ran out on my last thrift haul and y'all only got a snippet of what I bought. I don't have that much left, so I'm going to start off with the Goodwill stuff that I had left over and then we'll do 99 cent only and Dollar Tree. Okay, so if y'all know me at all, y'all know I am particularly fond of these Anchor Hawking. Is this Anchor Hawking? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um little juice glasses my grandma had them I've told the story before and I have fond memories of my grandma sipping her juice out of them in the mornings when we used to visit her when she passed away this is what I took I had four originally one broke and I was able to find another one to replace it and then I kind of just continued to add on in case I break any her original ones are totally separated but now I have enough that I can have a set and I can give my mom which is my grandma's daughter my mom's mom uh, her original three plus the replace one and I can have one so I think my mom should have the originals um so I found who would you find Joker Joker he loves Joker why does he have that smirk because he's a Joker never mind we found a few little random things that oh did we show your boat no we haven't shown your boat we showed it in the video but we haven't shown shown the actual boat did we? Okay. Yeah, well, you guys saw the boat. He's playing with it now. He had it in the bathtub. This kid gets into the bathtub with no water and has a plethora of sharks and boats and all kinds of things in there. And I think it's funny. And plants. And plants. Little sea marine plants. Not real ones. Little plastic ones. And he'll sit in the bathtub and play. And then I ask him, you want me to fill it up with water? And you can play in the water and take a bath? He's like, no. But anywho, I just think it's funny. Like, when do they outgrow it? Do they ever? If it's not him in the bathtub, it's the cat in the bathtub. Go figure. But anyway, I got three of them. So now I do have a full set. Like I said, I'm going to have my mom take my grandma's original. And now I have enough because I keep buying spare ones in case uh, for my own little set. They're not going to be my grandma's, but y'all know what I mean. These were 99 cents. Uh, I did get... Broom Hilda, that's her name. Look, she even has her little moly. That's so cute. I got Broom Hilda for my sister, and I will drop her off um, when I go see her tomorrow. She's stinking adorable, and I know my sister's gonna love her. I need to readjust her little bow because part of it's come loose. So I'm gonna do a little dab of hot glue and fix her up. But ain't she cute? And then the only other thing that I did pick up there was the yard, the metal yard pick. And I pulled out my um, little metal scarecrow that I got from Dwarf Town last year. And I'm going to put them out in my yard tomorrow uh, if the rain lets up. I'm going to put them out in my yard tomorrow. I already have the spot uh, picked out. And this is $1.99. There wasn't a sticker on it. And usually when there's not a sticker on it, I get things for $1.99. Or if the manager's there, she just $0.99 cents it. So that was the finishing end of... Um, my Goodwill haul. Now, I just randomly have a few things that I picked up at Target last Saturday. Target went in for no reason other than to look and, of course, walk out with a bunch of stuff. Uh, some Glade Blooming Peony and Cherry because I have never smelled this smell. I like it. I bought two of them. One's already in the upstairs bathroom. That's what these are for because if you go, you better spray or mama's going to be mad. These were on clearance for $2.50. I already took the sticker off because I was trying to see if they fit into those little candle holders that I garage sailed last Saturday. And they do. They're a little taller than they, they should be, I guess. I mean, if you take the lid off, they fit perfect. But I like to keep the lid on because I just do. It comes with a lid. Let's put a lid on it. Uh, this one is in Jungle Gardenia. And I'm very particular about my floral scents. They have to be certain flowers. Uh, Gardenia is not one of my favorites. But this one's okay. I mean, it's not granny like a lot of gardenia scents are. So I got this one and this one, which smells awesome. Uh, flamenco floral. I wish I could describe scents. 
the way they're meant to be described, but it's good, okay? I like this one so much I might get a big one. Uh, they were $2.50, and they even had the big one on clearance for $5. They're usually $10. Those are usually $5, so grab that. And then the only other thing I picked up at Target worth showing you guys uh, also was in the clearance. This was $4.48 for Chesapeake Bay Candle Little Pineapple Decanters uh, filled with a island orchid scent, and I didn't know what it smelled like, so I hunted down um, an island orchid candle and it smells amazing. I'm actually thinking about getting one of those for a friend because um, she really likes candles and I think she would really enjoy island orchid, but it's really cute. Doesn't match anything in my house. I may end up gifting this, uh, but it was $4.48 on clearance. I don't know if y'all can sleep live, but grab that. And that's where I get in trouble at Target in the clearance section, big time. So 99 cent only, a few little things. Worth showing, I guess. Picked up some zote. The reason I picked up zote or zote, I hear Mexicans call it zote. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, uh, but it's a pink zote bar. And I hear people rave about this on the 99 cent only Facebook group about how good it takes off stains. They'll wet it a little and rub it on a stain and then wash, and they say it works better than spray and wash. And I personally have never found anything that works better than spray and wash. And it smells okay. Um, I got to be careful with stuff because of my allergies, but, uh, I'm going to give it a try because little dude comes home with all kind of pin marks and paint and stuff all over his clothes. So we're going to try that out. Uh, select lash eyebrow shaper because girl got issues. Uh, I keep trying to let them grow out and then they never completely grow out to where I can do anything with them. And then I end up with what I have happening here a whole lot of craziness and then eventually life gets in the way and I bush out and I thought this is going to be better than when I clean them up with a bigger razor because sometimes if I'm in a hurry I've been known to nip off pieces that I don't need to be nipping off. We found Ninjago, a Lego Ninjago rebooted Fall of the Golden Master. Uh, little dude loves the Ninjago series of little movies and we did not have this one so we went ahead and grabbed it for $1.99. They're usually like three to five dollars at Walmart so I thought that was a good deal. And then the only other things I picked up there were these canvas totes that I was so excited to see at R99 cent only because R99 cent only doesn't get a lot of really cute stuff. They have since sold out because I was just there yesterday. I picked these up last week during the week. I grabbed this little lip one that is not a stain, that is a little beauty mark. Marilyn Monroe, by the way. Uh, this little black one says, give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. I don't know if that's a direct quote from Marilyn Monroe or if somebody just penned it and stuck her name on it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. The writing is in pink. It doesn't look, no, the shoe is pink, the writing is white. I grabbed those two for a friend who saw me post them on 99 Cent Only and show you know said that she she liked them she thought they were cool so i went ahead and grabbed those for her because she's stinking awesome and i gotta get those in the mail for her um i grabbed this one for my sister because she is a maryland freak and then this one for me i'm just a girl who wishes for the world with her little pink silhouette these were $2.99 each, and they had maybe two or three other styles. Two for sure, maybe three. I'm not sure. But I grabbed those, and uh, I'm happy with those. They're going to come in handy for all kinds of little things. So I'm thinking about using that as one of my new thrifty bags. If you all have been with me for a while, you may or may not remember that I say I carry a thrifty bag with me whenever I go thrifting. It has screwdrivers, tape measures, light bulbs of all different sizes. It has a pad and pencil. I have a whole bunch of stuff in my little thrifty bag that I carry around in the trunk of my car because you never know when you might need to measure something, a table, a piece of furniture, whatever, try out a lamp, oh, batteries that have batteries in there in case you come across a battery-operated toy, a little screwdriver to take the caps off. It's a little bag that I take if I'm going for certain things. Now, it rides with me all the time. I don't take it out all the time unless I know I'm looking for particular things that I may need the bag for. I say all that to say one of these Maryland bags, my Maryland bag, is probably going to be my thrifty bag, so we'll see. Uh, now we're going to get into Dollar Tree. It's going to be a short little video. I grabbed this little trashy bin. I currently am using a canister in my car as a trash bin. Let me show you. Hold on. Okay. 
I'm currently using one of these in my car for trash because it's so convenient. You pop a little thing open, you stuff your trash in there and then dump it out when it gets full. Uh, but I saw this one and I thought it was kind of cute. Um, what I'm going to do is tape down the sides just in case if it tips over, the top won't fall off, which is what's awesome about these. If it falls over, you know, the top won't pop off. Uh, but I liked it because it was blue and my car is blue. I'm going to tape down the sides and put that in there uh, just to swap out just because. Just because. Um, I got this canister because I bought this huge bag of sugar on sale. And I filled up my two sugar canisters in the kitchen and I have half a bag left. And around here, you can't do that because ants come in. I don't care if it's raining. I don't care if it's storming. I don't care if it's snowing. Ants will find a way into my house and into any bag that you don't have properly sealed. They love sugar. I don't want ants in my house. I already have all kinds of creepy crawly critters because of all of the rain sneaking up in here. Uh, Ozzy made breakfast of one this morning. So, ew. Um, I don't know what it was. I just saw a leg left on the ground after I saw him eating. But this is for my leftover sugar. I love keychains, but I have way too many to have the nerve to buy anymore. But he was so cute, I had to get him. So cute. Little tail, little face, little poofy body. Adorable. Had to have him. I got this thing. I collect novelty pins. I love novelty pins. And this one. Isn't that cute? So this is going to work with me to be set in my novelty pin uh, pin holder. Yeah, I have one. So grab that. I got light bulbs for all of the lamps you guys are seeing me haul. I found these and I got these for when me and little dude are having our phone time. A little phone holder. I didn't buy my kid a cell phone. He's nine. I personally don't think he needs one. Uh, for safety reasons, okay, but I don't, you've heard me say before, want my kid to be a screen kid. So, um, but I do give him his little phone time, maybe hour here, hour there. And uh, I see him sometimes sitting very awkwardly, so I thought this would be good for him. He could get comfy on the couch or on his bed and watch that way. And the same for me while I'm cooking, if I'm watching you guys while I'm cooking or whatever. This will come in handy instead of propping y'all wherever I prop y'all. And then y'all fall in between the stove and the counter, which happened before. Or in between the counter and the refrigerator, which has happened before. Uh, so, just figured why not. Don't judge. Okay. Yes. I bought some banana clips. I am bringing back the banana clip. And I am queen of the headband, okay? I'm bringing back banana clip, okay? I may even bring back, what was that where you used to crimp your hair? Let me crimp my hair and use a banana clip. It'll be straight up 1982 all over again. But it just sounded at the time interesting because it was hot that day. And it would just seem, it just seemed like a good idea to get your arenas off of the back of your neck. So got those. Then they had a new line of lippy stickies. This is the City Color Matte. They have these at my uh, beauty supply store. And I bought the lipsticks before, but I'd never seen these. I try mattes because I like mattes. But with my dry crocodile skin, it tends to like suck any little moisture out. And then I end up with cracked up lips. Uh, but this one was in M9. They don't have names. This is in Brick M16. And this just says M9. But they had all kinds of colors. I'm talking about like at least maybe 10 shades because they had two separate racks. And these are the ones I got that I think would look best with my skin tone. And then I got this little bin because little dude cannot leave the house without a toy. And our back seat looks like um, Toys R Us. So, I mean, he'll usually take something small that he carries around with him and then it ends up on the floorboard, on the seat. It just ends up everywhere. So I'm like, look, we're only taking as many as fit in this bin because it has gotten ridiculous, like ridiculous. Uh, but I know he takes them with him because he likes to fidget with him and it's a comfort thing. Whatever. Okay, fine. But we're only taking as many as fits in this bin. And then when this bin gets full, we're bringing the stuff back in and we'll start over. But it's blue like my car. So I got that. I found these. 
fakey mercury glass little oh that was I like that hold on we can make music anywho um I got two of them I thought they would look good somewhere next to that mercury glass ish lamp I got and the mercury glass dish I just showed you guys I hauled in the other video I thought these would look pretty somewhere I may put lotion in them I may put soap in them I may not put anything in them I don't know but I thought those were pretty I'd never seen those before now these were two separate Dollar Trees one was mine and one was in the little town I was in uh today so grab those I found Vincent and Roxy with Emil Hirsch and Zoe Kravitz doesn't look like my kind of thing but the back said most viewers will be unprepared for the reckoning to come by the Hollywood Reporter and I like her mama so uh, a jaw dropper by IndieWire, and I love indie movies, so hmm, I figured let's give it a shot for a buck. We'll try it. Uh, hip hop. If hip hop and rock and roll had a love child, she would be Roxy, an inner city girl in trouble. Vincent is a con consummate loner from small town America, searching for meaning in his life that has become intertwined with dangerous people. One morning, these two lost souls meet when a vicious killer attacks Roxy on the street in broad daylight before a crowd of witnesses. Vincent tries to save her, forcing Vincent and Roxy to go on the run for their lives. They soon learn violence will follow them everywhere, even as they unexpectedly fall in love. Now, what is that about society? People get attacked in front of dozens of people and nobody helps. They pull out a camera. I bet that's what's going to be happening in this video. If I don't see anybody pull out a phone in this video, then it's not based on reality. But that's some sick mess. I'm not saying jump in and play Superman or Superwoman, but... At least dial 911, okay? Don't sit there and film somebody's demise, destruction, violence. Don't do that. 911. We learned it in kindergarten. Okay. Spiel over. Poser. My life in 23 yoga poses. It took me a while to figure out that the vowels were ladies in yoga poses. I thought that was really cute. Um... The book itself seems like one a, a chick a chick book. Um, I, I don't, there's all the people in the back. People, the Telegraph, Austin Chronicle, Boston Globe, New York Times, Seattle Times, Virginia, Pilot, and the Minneapolis Star Tribune all loved it. And apparently, I must have read what it was about while I was there. Okay. Um, an unusually welcoming and unpretentious spiritual memoir, one in which love is the measure and yoga, just one of several ways to find it. Uh, let me be honest about something. I love yoga. I live for yoga and yoga has changed my life forever, but it is very difficult to find books about yoga that are incredibly annoying. I'm sorry to say it, but yoga sometimes make people talk like jerks. Thank goodness then for Claire Detterer, who has written the book we all need, the long-awaited, funny, smart, clear-headed, thoughtful, truthful, and inspiring yoga memoir. To simplify my praise, I absolutely love this book. So apparently it's a lady who does yoga and goes through things women go through and she tells a story. And it just sounded like something that I would get a kick out of. Girl power. And then I picked up these two red pillowcases. I had previously purchased these for my son's bedroom. And since he's been gone, we kind of bogarted his pillows. So now he's two pillows short because we sleep with all kinds of pillows all the pillows up under our neck me and little dude that's just the way we sleep we're practically sitting up with all the pillows we use we can't lay flat it's just a thing i don't know but we both bogart did big dude's pillows so now uh his bed looks semi flat and not fluffy so i need to purchase two pillows and gonna put these up so then he will have his bed back to the way it looked even though he's not here still his room is still his room so let me see if little dude wants to say anything. He seems to be in a better mood. I'm hoping tomorrow is better because, yeah, he's in a funk. It's been an autism weekend. Hold on one second. Okay, fellas. So here he is. He is getting that haircut. Yeah, that's on our agenda. Anywho, thank you guys for sticking around for part two. Yeah, I don't think I've ever cut one off that way. But until my next go around, thank you guys for watching. I have y'all. I have y'all. I hope y'all have an awesome week. Be good to each other. Be good to yourself. Till my next go around. Thank you for watching. Love y'all bunches. Bye. Bye. <laughs>